We are at the Bath Copley Police Community Center where youth diversion worker Marcy Mason has assembled what is a mock-up of a teenager's bedroom. The purposes for this is to educate people as and parents presumably what we should be looking for. Correct. Could you tell us about some of the items on display? And well, it's my understanding that this is, um, it looks like a, just a regular glass jar, but it's my understanding that for young people, these are now very popular to store marijuana in because it keeps it um, fresher. This is obviously simulated marijuana. We talk to parents about music and we um, play and sing clown posse and um, let them become familiar with the symbols that go with Insane Clown Posse, like the, the hatchet band. Um, Insane Clown Posse, is, their, their music is called Horrorcore, uh, very uh, violent, bloody, mutilate, cut off heads um, kind of music. So we want to let parents know about Insane Clown Posse, who also has um, quite a following um, almost like a cult-like following. Have you heard of them? Juggalos. Yes. Yes, and Juggalettes. Yes. So um, we think that's important for parents to know. Obviously, there's stuff like these are whipped cream canisters that a chef might use in, in cooking, but um, to kids, they're called whippets, and um, you can inhale the gas that's in there, which is nitrous oxide, to get high from. Um, there's some screens here. We hide stuff. Oh, there's there's the blunt papers usually in the uh, trophy. Can we see that paper again? That's probably going to be a very common thing. Yeah. Turning up, it's, you know, in the, either um, in the trash can. This is a, a, a formerly a cigar wrapper. Correct. Now used for a cannabis delivery device. Yes, and I don't understand why why are they using those instead of just rolling papers now? Is it stronger, heavier? I don't you know, know what, what the. I'm philosophy. thinking the slow burn. But, uh, you know, birds better? Yeah. I, I'm out of the game, so. Uh, we have a High Times magazine down there. We've got um, these little cute alcohol sidekick splits. Um, they're called, I'm sure that these are marketed towards young people, just the appearance of them. But there's a, sh a shot of alcohol. And they're very easy to steal, too, from retail establishments. Another inhalant example, this is... Um, my understanding too that kids are making bongs out of many different things. One of the more unique ones is out of an apple. Um, they core it, put a container in there to store marijuana and then inhale off of the tube which is a pen with the ink removed. Um, we talk about kids and using uh, Visine and eye drops to keep their eyes from getting bloodshot. We talk about drinking games. This is our beer pong um, set up here. Some pipes laying around. Um, Again, if you see a lot of Visine lying around, that might be might an be indication that... Yes. Uh, but it could be that they just suffer from allergies and red eyes as yeah, well. Yeah. And the, the bandanas are here to lead to a discussion about gangs. Uh, we've got simulated... Um, psilocybin mushrooms here because that's probably one of the common, probably number three or four on the list of uh, commonly used drugs out in this area. We've got some marijuana jewelry and there's a Bob Marley necklace even here. So, oh, here's Bob Marley here. So we talk about who Bob Marley was. I think that's probably a very, that's an excellent conversation to have because it's almost, even the Jamaican flag colors are almost sort of a language mm -hmm. as to this is what's going on. It's a counterculture, yes. And like we have kids who come into diversion hearings with Bob Marley t-shirts on and they're seeing a little, you know, marijuana leaves and the parents have no idea what the significance of that was. Um, we got a couple grinders laying around. A lot of this stuff um, was either purchased at the local head shops, bought at online head shops, and I think this was actually a, a confiscated one from an arrest. Uh, we talk about alcohol, and like this is, uh, looks like a, a regular drink, but it's actually, uh, if, you, if you didn't know it, twisted, and the hard iced tea, um, it's actually 5% 
alcohol in here as are the Sparks with 6% uh, alcohol, a um, couple different storage devices. The film canisters are popular. Um, this is actually um, your typical magic marker with felt tip and all, but inside the marker is a smoking device. Very clever. Yes, interesting. This is, um, looks like a regular computer mouse, but uh, you remove the cover and it is actually a working uh, digital scale. How about that? And it used to be that, you know, ev everybody, I mean, the only people that had digital scales were considered drug dealers, but now these days it's kids have scales. They want to make sure they're getting the right um, quantity of their of their drug. Um, they're turning uh, pop cans into pipes. So we got a couple of these laying around. So if a parent might find a pop can with some unusual looking holes in it. Um, it might be indicate that they're using it to smoke marijuana. Very good. That would be that would probably be a widespread delivery device. So parents, pop cans, any can with a hole mm -hmm. carburates the smoking. And there's water bottles here too that they've also been using as pipes. Okay. One thing you have to do shut these lights off. Leave the kitchen lights on before Jack becomes back at four all the time. Okay. I'll be back about five. We um, have these Craigslist printouts uh, to talk to parents about kids and theft and how easy it is to um, get rid of a pawn stolen items on Craigslist. Now, this is actually a printout from a, a group of kids from Copley that were breaking into cars and stealing uh, GPS uh, devices. Very interesting. Marcy, we thank you for taking the time to create this rather wide-ranging and, and, and insightful production. I know a lot of work and a lot of thoughtfulness went into this, and it's That's fine. terrific, and we thank you.